Welcome to another PyQGIS tutorial. Uh, today in this tutorial we're going to learn how to create a new shapefile using PyQGIS. So if you don't have your Python console open already, you can open it by going to Plugins and then Python console. So this will probably be a pretty quick video, but let's get started. First thing is we'll do import QGIS. And then we need to create some fields, the columns we want to have in our layers. I'm just going to create three fields of different types. First, we're going to call these uh, the layer fields, and they'll be QGS fields. And so now I can add the fields, which I can do with layer fields dot append. We need to append a QGS field, and we're going to give it a name. And so we'll call the first one ID, and then we need to give it a type, which is a Q variant. So we'll do Q variant, and this will be an integer. And close the parentheses, and then we'll do this again. So layer fields append, and QGS field is going to give it. We're going to give it. Uh, this will be the value. And a Q variant uh, double. All right, and then we'll do one more append QGS field, uh, and this will be name, and it'll be a Q variant. This will be a string. And so the point for doing these three fields is just to show you how to add the fields uh, of three different data types. So we have an integer, a double, and a string. And actually up here, I'm going to define a file name for my layer. So file name uh, will be C temp. Uh, we'll call this new points. So we'll create points. All right. Okay. So that gives us the fields we need for our new layer. And now we need to write that layer. So we're going to make a writer, which is going to be a QGS vector layer. Oh, let me double check my notes. That's a vector file writer, not a vector layer writer. And we need to give it the file name. I believe this is the encoding, which will do UTF-8. And then we're going to give it our fields, so layer uh, fields. And we need to give it a type, so we're going to do points. So we'll do QGS WKB types dot point. I'll double check that to make sure I have that right. And then we need to do a coordinate reference system, and this is going to be long, so I'm going to just hit the slash enter to start a new line. So QGS coordinate reference system and then we're going to give it a string which is going to say it's an EPSG and ooh, let's see 26912 I think is UTM 12 which is what I want and I'll double check that here to make sure we have it right okay and I think that's what we need I'm just going to double check this and make sure I have things right and then we'll continue on um, oh and I do need to close the parentheses at the end of this Okay. Okay, so this should be two six two six nine one two and this point needs to be capitalized. And I forgot one important thing, so we need to add an argument for the driver. So this is the kind of file we want to create. That's gonna be an Esri shape file. Okay. So that should create our file. But even if we create it at this point, we're not going to have any data in there. And so we need to add a feature to this file uh, in order to see it show up. So let's make a feature. It's going to be QGS feature. And then we can do feet.setgeometry. And we're going to be a QGS. I have to double check that, guys. It's a QGS feature geometry. Sorry, just a QGS geometry. And then uh, QGS. We want an XY point. 
which means we need to go from point x, y, uh, we can do QGS point x, y, and then give it some coordinates. And I'm going to close these parentheses before I forget what they are. And so I'm going to copy and paste some coordinates in here that align with some other stuff I've done. So I'm just going to grab those and copy them. All right, so I'll copy those coordinates in there. And then we can go feet.set attributes. We're going to give it a list of the attributes. So my ID value, I'll make one. My value, which will be 1.1. And my name will just be name. OK. And we'll add those in. All right. So now we have a feature all set up. And we just need to add that feature. So we can go writer add feature feature and now we want to add this layer into our map interface so we can do iface dot add vector layer we have the file name layer name and OGR because OGR is for vector files and then we can do delete writer all right so now what should happen here is when I add this file, hopefully we don't get any errors, and we get a single point that shows up on the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and click Run here, and we have an error. Okay. So this error is occurring on line 10. It's occurring when we create our file writer. So I'm just going to double check on that for you. So I think the problem is I put a forward slash there instead of a backslash. So let's try that. Okay, and now we get another problem where the QGS fails. It says no attribute append. Uh, let me just make sure I've done that right. All right, so what I did is I just put one too many P's in append. Um, I should also add a .shp on the file name here. I missed that. All right, so let's click Run now and see what happened. I tested this, and we'll remove that real quick. All right, so now I think we should be good. Let's give it a try. So now we click Run. Our new points gets added. And let's make sure we have a feature in there. So if we open the attribute table, okay, so there's our feature. Now let's right click on this and go zoom to layer. I am not seeing that feature show up. So open attribute table, zoom to feature. There it is. So it's showing up right there. Uh, it's probably just kind of small, so we couldn't see where it was. But there's our feature. You can see it has the ID, the value, and the name. So we can close that. Uh, we can go ahead and clear the selection. And let's open this up and just check the information. And so you can see here that my EPSG or my coordinate system is NAT83 UTM zone 12 north, which is what I wanted it to be. All right. So there you go. That is how you and create a new shapefile using PyQGIS. Um, I have some more videos coming up. One question I was asked is how to take selected features from a layer and save those to a new shapefile. So that's a video that I should have coming up here in the next few weeks. Um, and I'm trying to get a video out every week, either QGIS or PyQGIS. I was doing two a week, but things have got pretty busy. Uh, with school and work, so uh, I've had to cut back a little bit, but I'll try to keep getting at least one out a week, and if you do have suggestions uh, or comments for other videos, uh, please go ahead and, and let me know about those in the comments. Thanks, and have a good day.